I'm just starting to hear you. Sorry, they just turned the volume up. Can you repeat that? Yeah, you were a guy who transitioned from corner to safety in the NFL, and we've seen um, P.J. Williams be able to do it in the middle of a game. How difficult is that transition to make? Yeah, I'm, it's, it's tough, you know, because everything changes from, you know, the, the things that you see, the, what you have to see, your eyes, the angles of the game change. Um, so it's, it's, a, it's a bit of a transition, but, you know, when you're a guy who's in that backup role and you're versatile, that's a very, very uh, important job, and, and you've got to know kind of all of these different spots. Um, you know, it makes you more valuable to the team as well. So it's a little bit tough, but we're asking uh, PJ to do to do a lot. You know, based on uh, you know our lineup and the depth that we have. Next one from Luke Johnson. Malcolm, what do you think uh, it is about about you that makes you? Uh, kind of excel in those uh, like down in the box plays, making plays behind the line of scrimmage, sacks, that sort of thing? Uh, I mean, for me, you know, I put a lot of uh, emphasis on my preparation and just visualizing, you know, the, the game and getting a feel for, it, you know, what, what blocks look like, what do people's demeanor look like when they're, you know, getting ready to pass or run and, and just those small details that allow me to play fast and trust what I see. I think really that's the, the biggest thing um, is, is preparing enough that when I get out there, you know, things are moving fast. As a smaller guy who's in the box, you know, I, I don't have time to waste or steps away. So a lot of preparation goes into being able to play fast and, and, and make plays. And, you know, for me, I got to continue to do that to, to help our defense. So would you say that's, that's something that uh, you've gotten better at as your career's progressed then, just as you've kind of gotten, I, I guess, uh, more experience uh, with that as, yeah, as a player? Yeah, 100%. I think early early in my career, I played more of the kind of nickel and free safety uh, positions. But as I'm transitioning to more, you know, nickel, slot, and, and, and down safety, um, you know, it's, I've been able to kind of adjust and get a real good feel for uh, just being down in the box. It puts me around the ball, keeps me engaged. You know, uh, it's just something that I think uh, better fits my skill set. Next one's from Ed Daniels. Malcolm, you guys are getting ready to start the, the next season. Do you think you were brought here to win those games? And when those games start, what can you bring as far as experience or know-how that you can contribute in those situations that you know are coming up? Yeah, I think uh, the first part of your question, everybody who's on this roster was brought here to help us win uh, a championship. You know, point, point blank. I got a role just like anybody else. Um, I think, you know, my message to all of the teams that I've been on that have been going into this situation um, is it, just really, it's no different than any other game. You know, right now, we're not even thinking about, you know, playoffs. We're, we're, we got to win this game in front of us. Uh, and that's really the mentality going forward. You don't change and, and turn on the switch once you, once you uh, get to the playoffs or get to games that mean more. Um, it's the teams that, that allow the situation to change them that usually fold under the pressure. So for us, it's just about how do you stay consistent with what we've done all year, you know, prepare during practice, have fun and go compete, um, you know, on a Sunday, wherever it's at and what the situation is. Um, you know, the pressure of the game shouldn't change your preparation or how you approach it. Next one's from Luke Johnson. Malcolm, a couple guys been talking about um, – kind of the mid-season point being like kind of a turning point for the defense. Um, and I'm, I'm just wondering if there was, I mean, you're just talking about like, you know, there's not, it's not like a light switch, but but was there, was there just something that, that just kind of clicked for you all defensively that, that has made you all into this, you know, top five unit right now? I mean, I think a lot goes into that, um, you know, commitments and, and adjustments from individual players. Uh, from coaching staff and scheme, you know, all of that, I think, you know, a season is, is not about a race. You don't show up week one, you know, your best self and then maintain that throughout. You usually, you know, gradually build, gradually uh, improve. And I think for us, that's what it, you know, what it was. We figured out how to play, uh, you know, better with each other, how to complement each other, how to communicate better, what schemes, you know, fit the personnel that we have. Um, and as we continue to fine tune that, you know, each week, uh, we, we play better. And, and so for us, we know what that formula is. We, we know how that is. And it's still, you know, changing depending on the lineup. Um, and, and so for us, it's just about those details. How do we make sure that every time we step on the field, uh, our communication, our scheme, and, and our understanding of what we're trying to do 
um, is not is not complicated and something that, that that we don't have to second guess. Next one's from Fletcher Mackle. Malcolm, I have a uh, non-Saints question here. Obviously, Ohio State is, is coming here to play. You played in a championship game for Ohio State in the Superdome. Do you talk to them virtually? Do you still reach out to people? I assume you'll be watching, or, or will you not have time, given, you know, the, 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 the game Sunday for you all? Yeah, I'm sure I'll watch the game. Um, but, no, I haven't, I haven't, you know, been in touch with anybody on this team. It's, it's, it's been a while. Uh, since I've been back, and especially this season, it's just been so crazy. Um, but I'll definitely be watching. You know, once a Buckeye, always a Buckeye. Um, you know, everybody want to act like we didn't deserve to be in there, so we'll take care of business. All right, I think we're all set. Thank you, Malcolm. All right.